Hey Andre, have you ever wondered what's the difference between this, the brand new 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, and Andre, the brand new Trail Hunter? Yes, I have wondered, and we're gonna answer that question in this video because we have both all-in-ones here at the world debut of the all-new Tacoma. Yeah, so in this video, we're gonna go and we're gonna compare and contrast this, the new TRD Pro, with the new Trail Hunter version. And uh, I think we should start where everybody starts, and that is under the front, Andre, because there's something special hiding under the front of this. Yeah, but before we actually dig into it, um, TRD Pro used to be kind of the top of the line Tacoma, right? Yep. But now the Hunter is here, and which is why we're doing this video, because a lot of you have asked us this question. Well, which one should I get? Should I get the Pro? Should I get the Trail Hunter? And the TRD Pro still, it's, it's the Tacoma that will run fast, right? It's uh, kind of a desert runner. It has very unique suspension. Of course, you saw the skid plate, right? Yeah. Um, and it's based on the new Tacoma chassis, which means, come over here, which means it's still a double cab or a crew cab. Um, this one has only comes with a short bed. It's a five foot bed, but they stretched the wheelbase about four and a half inches. They made it a little bit wider and they put it on 33s. Now guys, uh, we are here in Hawaii at the world premiere of this new truck. And this is a very important truck, obviously, for Toyota because they sell about a quarter million of these every year and a lot of people love these trucks. And you know, if you're interested in things like towing or payload, this is not the video. We've done a whole bunch of different videos from Hawaii talking about that and head on over to alltfl.com. We've even got a deep dive with the chief engineer. This one is specifically on the off-road channel about the difference between this and of course the Trail Hunter, which we'll show you in a second. So you wanna get going, Andre? Yeah, let's go fast because um, uh, this truck is really, really popular. So underneath the hood of this- Wanna pop it? And also, yes. And also the Trail Hunter is the same powertrain, but it's brand new. And it is the hybrid. So you can get your uh, Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro with any engine as long as it's a 2.4 liter turbo mated to, to a hybrid system. A hybrid system, which puts out how much horsepower, Andre? 326 horsepower, so way more than ever before because the V6 that was underneath the hood is gone. By the way, the hood is really light and aluminum now. And 465 pound feet of torque, which is nearly double the torque of that V6. So they're using the electric motor that's sandwiched between the engine and the transmission. It's an eight speed, not a 10 speed, not a six speed. It's an eight speed, eight speed transmission. And look at this dude. Um, it's got its own performance TRD air intake system. And of course you guys who uh, are fans of uh, this uh, version of the Tacoma know that we've got Fox shocks underneath. Yeah, and these are slightly different than before. Let's take a look in the back. Um, Yes, this is Fox 2.5, but they're now, uh, they have adjustable valves. So there's a valve on each shock, you can tune it. There's about three settings, QS3 system from Fox. You can do it, you know, softer, medium, and kind of stiff. And then stiff of course, setting. check this out, Andre, not just, of course, it's TRD branded wheels, which I love, but also disc brakes. Now you can get your Toyota with any kind of brake you like, as long as it's disc brake in the rear. And they actually have different sizes now for uh, the different uh, trim level. versions yeah. and trim levels of the truck. And the tire is actually, the, the other similar thing between the Trail Hunter and the Pro, it's a Goodyear Wrangler Territory RT, and it's basically a 33 inch tall tire. It's a 265 70 R18. And there is one more sim similarity, and that's not it. Um, the TRD Pro has a double exhaust outlet. This is also similar between the two. A steel ARB bumper with recovery points um, in the back, and of course the hitches down here. Hey, what's this thing for, Andre? That's the high lift jack yeah. attachment point. There's one on each side, so it's a little bit more safe. Uh, and you can actually you know, safely recover this vehicle because a lot of you guys- And then why three? Take this into the deep stuff. Three shark fins. Yes. Uh, the one is for radio communications. And the other two on the sides are a Wi-Fi network for the wireless camera system for the trailer. All right, well, let's show them the inside. Why don't you go around really quick. the driver's side, yeah. We got a little bit of time here uh, before the next person comes. There's a lot of media here, so we're trying to be cognizant and letting everybody have a crack okay. at this. So TRD Pro gets unique seats, and we'll show you a close-up of the seat in a second. Uh, but unique interior, 14-inch screen. This is from the Tundra. Um, so, and drive modes. 
So we have camera system, we have rear locker, we have a disconnectable front sway bar. But no front locker, huh? No front locker. There's still, of course, you know, the ABS and the traction system um, and lots of ground clearance, 9.5 inches of ground clearance and about 11 inches of running clearance. Yeah, which is different than ground clearance. Can you explain the difference? Or oh boy. <laughs> No, so the 9.5 inches is really to the lowest point. Right. And like the, the running, pumpkin. like the differential right. in the back. Uh, and the running clearance is kind of in the middle, right? So some of the um, uh, bits in the middle of this thing. But to increase the wheel base of this truck, which means you have worse um, breakover angle because hmm. the wheel base is now stretched by four and a half inches. Now, there's something else that's really unique about this truck. And I've never seen this before, Andre. And of course, these are these seats. And uh, we're gonna go and show you what makes these unique in a second because uh, they really are different. Uh, and uh, well, let's call it the gimbal of seats. Is that fair? I would, I would agree. And we have short bed. Just remember this, short bed, double cab only, hybrid only. All right, let me show you the seats right now. All right, so of course, it's TRD on the seat. You've seen that before, Andre, you know that. Uh, the seat is, you know, very stylish, dare I say sexy, but let me show you the secret. It's around the back here. So um, check this out. What you'll see here are two little gauges uh, that show you the amount of PSI. Now you're wondering, why would I put PSI into a seat? Are you gaseous, Roman? <laughs> well, that's normal, <laughs> <laughs> but not for the TRD Pro C. What makes this unique is if you were to take this off, there are little Schrader valves here. And then there's these tool of valves here. And if you notice, Andre, there's street mode, and then you can switch it over here to off-road mode. And basically what these seats allow you to do is have, get this, a seat gimbal. So, you know, one of the things I hate when I'm off-roading is where your head kind of bobs back and forth, right? Especially if you're in the passenger seat and you've got nothing to hold on to. Well, think of this like a gimbal for a camera, but this is a gimbal for your TRD Pro. In other words, it keeps you from bouncing around as much. And then, uh, like I said, back here are Schrader valves and you can take a regular air pump and actually pump it up to your desired pressure and then switch it from, like I said, on-road to off-road mode. Now, do these work? Uh, you know, your guess is as good as mine. We have not driven one of these, but I am very curious. I'm super curious to try these out because I hate off-roading where my head bobs around like one of those bob toys, you know? It's just no fun. So, and it's only in the Pro. Yes, it's only in the Pro. So, so should we switch over to the Trail Hunter? Let's head over to the Trail Hunter and let's compare that because I think you have come up with a really clever analogy uh, that uh, probably best explains the difference between the Trail Hunter and the TRD Pro. All right, so do you want to hear my analogy? Yeah, so this is the new Trail Hunter taco and what is your analogy andre how would you best describe the difference between the pro and the trail hunter so what brand out there in the u.s represents off-roading and has a long lineage of off-roading smart car no <laughs> jeep <laughs> okay i was thinking about jeep <laughs> all right fair enough so jeep gladiator uh they had the rubicon right yes. for many many years which is a rock crawly version of the gladiator and then they recently introduced the mojave which is a little bit more kind of desert runner, a little bit more fast, off-road worthy Jeep. Well, I think Toyota is doing something similar here because the Trail Hunter is that rock crawly, overland based, uh, really protected with skid plates version of the ta taco. And the Pro is more for fast running. Okay, so one is more of a Baja truck and one is more yes. of a Moab truck. So before we kind of do a deep dive on this and show you all the cool hidden secrets, uh, the Easter eggs. Let's kind of talk about the other trucks that aren't Toyotas that compete with this. I'm thinking about the Ranger Raptor. Yes. Talk to me about that. I'm yeah, and about... also the ZR2 Bison. Exactly, the Bison. Because there's a lot of uh, kind of uh, similarities between what GM is doing with their Canyon 84X AEV trucks and their Bisons and this. Uh, so the Raptor is coming yep. to the US from Ford, the 2024 truck. It's going to be available, I believe, early next year or later this year. The new Bison is already out. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> the, they announced it, right? But uh, the new ZR2 Bison is also coming. And what are the features of the Bison? Lots of skid plates, right? Really heavy protection, rock sliders. Yeah, I would say one of the biggest differences, let me show you this. Um, you know, here, obviously, it's uh, Trail Hunter, right? But if I go over here, I'll show you something. Go around the back. I'll show you something yeah, interesting. And that is, first and foremost, uh, this bumper is an ARB just like uh, the TRD Pro. Yes. But the suspension is, check this out, old man emu, Andre. So what I think Chevy has done 
is used AEV, American Expedition Vehicle, uh, running accessories. Yes. Uh, and these have gone more Australian, right? Because Old Ben Emu and ARB yeah. are from Australia. And I think so, pricing is not announced yet for yes. neither, neither one of these trucks. Actually, none of the new tacos yet. Uh, they're going to go on sale. Uh, the non-hybrids uh, later this year and the hybrid version, the Maxis, will go on sale early next year. But I think they're going to be in line with the, those trucks, right? The Bisons, the Raptors. I think, think about 57 grand. Which is a Ranger Raptor. Yes, or above. Or above, yeah. So let's talk about underbody protection. So we see the Old Man Emu suspension upgrades. How about under here? What do we got? Lots, and they're unique. So there is a full protector. This is kind of a composite. Yes. Look, uh, let me grab this camera. Okay. Um, take a look up there. Giant, almost, almost full body, not quite full body, but really big uh, skid plate in the front. Differential, co differential cover in the back. You can kind of see it on the rear axle right there. And also, let me show you this. Oh, Roman, I got it. It's the central dump exhaust. So this is a unique Trail Hunter feature. The exhaust actually doesn't go over the axle. It actually dumps in front of the rear axle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, the other thing I guess you're wondering about is the, uh, well, Toyota calls it the desert air intake. <laughs> <laughs> we can call it the Hawaiian air intake because yeah. we're in Hawaii, but uh, that's also part of this uh, added package. Now, the but also this what, extra what bed, that? extra bed. That's right. You get so so like if you're overlanding, you can get more stuff. more more stuff with yeah. you. And what's the payload on these? So they didn't specify all the numbers, right? Yeah. But think of this as a slightly heavier truck, um, and it has maybe a little bit less ground clearance because of all those skid plates. Uh, but think of it. Uh, but Omenimo, of course, is set for heavier weights. Yes. Because you could put a tent up there, you could put uh, your refrigerators. Oh, speaking of refrigerators. And speaking of airing up and airing down. <laughs> we haven't been, but look at that. There's a little compressor. Yes. So That's pretty cool. You could set it to unique PSI. Yes. And over here, 2.4 kilowatt uh, power outlet right there yeah, in so the back. If you had like a, uh, you know, a camper on here, you could power your um, lights, your fridge. Yeah, exactly. Or you could air up and air down. Um, and like I said, they haven't announced uh, pricing yet, but I get a feeling this is going to be expensive, Andre. Yeah, but you can also roll it into your initial payment. So if you're buying it uh, first thing, you could add some of these accessories, genuine Toyota accessories or associated accessories. ARB or ARB parts. How about towing? Have you talked about towing? Um, about 6,000 pounds. Well, that's not so bad. It's okay, but... Toyota did not go after no. everybody <laughs> on numbers. Um, and of course, the ZR2 also has a 6,000 pound tow rating. So actually, as far as off-road trucks are concerned, that's very similar. No, I did, we did do a video where we talked with the chief engineer, and that's gonna be over on our podcast channel, TFL Talk. We should show inside just really we briefly. Will, uh, give me a second, we'll okay. go right there in a sec, because I want you going in the driver's seat, I'll go in the passenger seat. Um, what did you do, Andre? It was beep I touched the uh, key, uh, keyless <laughs> entry. I was gonna show him this little uh, Easter egg right here. Uh, which is right there. Normally that says Tacoma. Here it says Trail Hunter. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So, so I was going to say, so I did talk with the chief engineer, and obviously if you want to get a little bit more tire, right, because these are 33s we're looking at, they're good yeah. here, our Wranglers, uh, you can't without you know, right. significantly doing some um, metal trimming. But I learned one more thing. Yes, what's is that? that? TRD is going to offer factory approved lift kits. Ah. So you know how they're doing it for the Tundra right now? Yes. Where you can put 35s on the Tundra with a TRD approved uh, lift kit. And they're thinking about this, doing the same thing here. So this one doesn't say uh, Trail Hunter or TRD. Do you want that cool front TRD skid plate? Actually, it's got a little logo. You want the camera? You want to show them? Yeah. Here. Take a look at the logo. That's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, that is a Trail Hunter logo. All right, why don't you go in the driver's seat, I'll jump in the passenger seat, and we'll show them the inside. Yes. Be careful, Andre. They've set this up in a very precarious manner. It looks cool, but it's a little uh, on, the, uh, on the sketchy side. <laughs> Nobody wants to fall on lava. All right, so let's look at the inside here. Uh, nice. Very different. Very different, different motif. Uh, still very premium and still a lot of bolstering, but these are soft seats. But you don't get that special one? Let's look at the back of these. Yeah. Hold on. I'll look in the back here. No, this is just regular. By the way, I don't know if I can lift this up, but under here is a 12-volt battery, so it's underneath the driver's side rear. 
Over here, because this is a, a iForce Max, uh, you have a nickel metal hydride battery. Almost which, two kilowatt hours, right? Yeah, 1.87 uh, kilowatt, uh, 1.87 kilowatt hours. Um, so it's the same battery and electric motor setup as the Tundra. Yeah, you know, here's a riddle. Uh, why is there a pocket here and no pocket there? I just well, normally that. I would say cost savings. Cost cutting, but this is a premium truck. Yeah, yeah. And you got. But by the way, USB C ports. This is not. Pre, this is pre-production. So a lot of the stuff may not um, make a difference. Also, don't look at this because the Trail Hunter oh, I just learned. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, we'll not have a sunroof. But we'll have a little rear window that's yeah. powered. And this yeah. actually folds. You can fold this uh, little headrest. Yeah, I think there's. I think there's some uh, good storage space back here. So there's a jack and there's a little bit of a cubby hole back there. So look, even I did this first time. Yeah, and if you didn't have that subwoofer, you, yeah. would, you would have a, uh, and speaking of JBL, let's show them something really cool that both these trucks have. Uh, and you know, we first saw this in a way in the Rivian and now Toyota has it. So you want to show them the cool little uh, JBL speaker? Yeah, the JBL Flex. Yeah, when you're overlanding and you're, uh, you know, dying for some friendly tunes. Tunage outside yeah. so that comes out usually that works like a regular speaker that you can um, Bluetooth to your phone so if you want to charge it as well and of course we have various drive modes two high four high four low as usual locking rear diff like the TRD uh, sway bar disconnect yeah like the TRD Pro and the camera system as well and the camera system uh, and but not the funky seats no so here's what I would say if you do want a little bit longer truck which this says right you can get a long bed you have to get the Trail Hunter. The longer bed is not available in the Pro. Um, and Old Man Nemo, if you're a big fan of that technology and the Old Man Nemo shocks, which by the way have different presets, you cannot adjust them, you know, but uh, it has different modes, I mean, within built in within the shock. So if you love that, you gotta get the Hunter. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, these won't be available for a while yet, right, Andre? Yeah. Uh, if if uh, there's actually, Mm, that's the limited. There are very many different versions of the Tacoma. Uh, it's pretty incredible actually how many versions there are. And if you want to see all four versions that are here, once again, go to all TFL. Yeah. We're on the, our truck channel. We're doing wall to wall coverage, Andre. So I think Toyota has a good one two punch, right? So the Pro has been around. People understand it. The Pro is, of course, back for this generation of the Taco. And now this is more overlandy, camping focused crawly version of the taco yeah and before we wrap up this i just want to thank our friends at onyx off-road yes uh, <laughs> don't fall dude <laughs> they okay. make all these videos possible if you guys are looking for a way uh, to go overlanding or off-roading onyx off-roads let you download maps uh, right to your phone so that you're never lost even if you're out of cell range yeah totally and we're here in hawaii at the introduction of the new truck and i have no idea if there are any off-road trails here so onyx could help me yeah so thank you guys uh it's partners like onyx that make these videos possible because well they help uh, pay uh rent and help feed our families anyway andre so i gotta ask you before we wrap this up yeah. uh, and we're I'm, I'm gonna ask myself this question yes let's say they cost about the same which they might Okay, let's say high 50s. Let's say high 50s. Okay. Which one do you like better, or which one would you buy? Would you buy the Trail Hunter, or would you buy the uh, TRD Pro? Hmm. Mm, making it making work for that, huh? Hmm. You know, I would say I'm a pro guy. Yeah? What about you? I'm definitely a Trail Hunter guy. Really? This? Yeah, I love those bronze wheels. Uh, I don't know. I want to try those seats, because those seats really have me intrigued. <laughs> woo, woo, you know, Where woo. they actually work, but uh, this is one handsome truck, dude. It uh, is. I love everything about it. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I also love everything that's new. And of course, the TRD Pro has been around a while and this is brand new. But yeah, this looks like a truck that I would uh, be very proud to roll up in the cars or trucks and coffee. Awesome. All right, awesome. Well, well, thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, there you have it, guys. Uh, remember, go to alttfl.com. We've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the Tacoma. And we'll see you on the next video. Ciao.